Welcome everyone. This is Melissa and James from InterExchange. We're happy you could join us here for this informational presentation on our work and travel program in Canada. When this presentation finishes, you might have some lingering questions, so shoot us a message or give us a call. We want to make sure you have the right kind of travel experience as this could be a once in a lifetime thing. Before moving on, we know some viewers may be most interested in learning how to proceed with the work permit process with Citizenship and Immigration Canada. We will be covering that soon, but first, just a bit of an overview on InterExchange and the program. Firstly, uh, InterExchange is designated by the U.S. Department of State as a sponsor for exchange visitor visa programs here in the U.S. So we support au pairs, interns, trainees, camp counselors, and participants on summer and year-long work travel exchanges here in the U.S. from over 50 countries. We've been doing this for over 40 years, uh, but more importantly for all of you, we help U.S. citizens connect with work volunteer and educational exchanges overseas. Feel free to reach out to us at any time over the phone or through email. You can see our contact information on the screen. When you finish watching this, if you'd like to let us know, that way we can get you moving with the next steps. That would be great. Today we're going to be talking about our Work and Travel Canada program. This program lets 18 to 35 year olds travel open-endedly for up to a year. What makes this visa special though is that you can work to help fund your travels. This is a freestyle program that allows a lot of independence. We aren't lining up a job for you in advance. You have the flexibility to choose when and where you work and travel, but we do provide background support. You may already have a strong idea of what you're going to be doing in Canada, and maybe you already have a job. The program provider we work with in Canada, Swap Working Holidays, is still available while you're up there, just in case you have questions about logistics, traveling, working, or anything else. You will be participating on the International Experience Canada Travel and Work Program under the Department of Citizenship and Immigration Canada. You must be 18 to 35 when you apply, and once you're approved, you'll have one year to enter the country. Once you do enter the country, you will be able to stay and work and travel for one year from your date of entry. We'll talk more about this shortly, but just know that for official purposes, you'll be a participant on International Experience Canada. So how would we describe this program? Well, it's very unstructured and open-ended. Um, this allows each participant the freedom to choose how they spend their time abroad. This type of program is especially suited for independent and self-directed travelers, will require a fair amount of flexibility and the ability to go with the flow. Despite the independent nature of this experience, you do have support available. SWAP also runs orientation sessions every week in Vancouver and Toronto. These aren't mandatory, but if you're in one of those cities, you can stop by and say hi and hopefully attend an orientation. You are free to live and work anywhere in the country. Some of you may want to stay near the city life in Toronto, Montreal, or Vancouver for a longer period of time, while others may prefer to backpack around, moving from one town to another every few weeks. You will be responsible for arranging your own accommodations. Uh, you will probably end up staying in an apartment for most of your time, but uh, we do have the ability to set up a few nights of dorm-style accommodation in a hostel upon your arrival in either Toronto or Vancouver. And we encourage you to explore the country as well, so if you get the chance to maybe stay in some hostels or do some camping along the way, that's totally fine. Well, this program is meant to be able to help you build character, gain skills, try new things, and make new friends, the jobs often don't require a lot of expertise. Typical jobs available for working holiday participants tend to be low skill and short term. So that would be things like warehouse work, fruit picking, hotel jobs, office temp work, working at a ski resort, setting up for events, and that kind of thing. Here you can see some of the typical jobs people get. There's a lot of work in hospitality, a lot of work in wilderness lodges, housekeepers, temporary office work, but you are welcome to pursue other kinds of jobs. We do want to note that there are restrictions against working in certain positions, including medical, teaching, daycare, and similar jobs. If it's your intention to work in one of those fields, please let us know so that we can discuss this. 
Swap Working Holidays, based in Canada, is a recognized organization under government classification. They are your support in Canada and will be happy to speak with you about your job search, logistics, and more. International Experience Canada, again, is officially the program for which you will be a participant. However, IEC requires that U.S. citizens apply through a private recognized organization, and that's where SWAP comes in. So officially, you will also be a participant through SWAP, and we will provide you with a letter that proves that you are coming through that proper channel. Uh, but first, you will apply with inter-exchange because we work with U.S. citizens during the application process and to provide information about the IEC application later on. So you'll first apply through inter-exchange and we'll make sure you're eligible. If you've already done this, you should have an email with the next steps. And then we'll get you going with Citizenship and Immigration Canada. We cannot intervene during this process or complete any steps on your behalf. But if you have questions, we will certainly do our best to help. And finally, once you're in Canada, you will have support from SWAP. For those of you who have completed the inter-exchange application, please take note of the following steps. Once we know you've viewed this presentation, uh, we are happy to speak with you about uh, any up-to-date information on the next steps or answer any questions that you have, but this is just to give you a sense of what is coming. And when you travel to Canada, you will be again supported by SWAP. Um, when you arrive, you'll get your work permit uh, at the border or airport where you enter, and then SWAP is available to help you with any questions that you have about traveling and working along the way. Uh, they have a jobs database, newsletters, social media, job fairs, and we have alumni resources here in the U.S. for you when you return. Next, let's talk about costs. First, you'll be booking and purchasing your own airfare. You also need to prove that you have access to support funds in order to apply for your visa. For Canada, it's $2,500 Canadian. You don't need to take this money with you or give it to anyone. However, you'll want to bring enough with you through to get you through the first few weeks or so before you secure a job and start pulling a regular paycheck. Finally, all participants are required to purchase and maintain travel medical insurance for the entire duration of their program. We are happy to offer some suggestions for coverage a little bit later. So, it's a two-way thing with this program. We're providing support, but you need to be diligent and independent. You have to pay to live where you live, you should have savings when you arrive, and you also need to be professional with the job search. That said, there are many short-term jobs around and we can give you a leg up. Here are a few frequently asked questions. Feel free to pause your screen if you'd like to review them, and we're also available to answer any questions that you might have. So there you have it, Inter-Exchange Work and Travel Canada. We look forward to hearing from you personally at workabroad at interexchange.org or at 1-800-597-3675. Thanks, everybody.